please proceed into viewing room one for an important message regarding the purpose of your visit. What? Where was this place? A holographic theater. CD01 data intact. Initiating playback. Welcome to Project Zero Dawn. I am General Harris, Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff of the United States of America. I'm sure you've heard the rumors that Zero Dawn is a top-secret super weapons program, the technological miracle that will save us from the Pharaoh Plague if Operation Enduring Victory can hold off the robots long enough. The reason I'm sure you've heard the rumors is that I'm the one who spread them, and they are all lies. Zero Dawn is not a super weapons program, and it will not save us. Nothing will save us. And here's why. By the time the glitch was noticed, it was already too late. Nothing could stop the Pharaoh Plague. Nothing can. Its robots will continue to replicate and devour the biosphere. Life on Earth will be destroyed. Our planet reduced to a barren sphere. Global extinction is inevitable. No matter how many we kill, the robots just keep exponentially making more. If we had their deactivation codes, we could shut them all down. The entire swarm. But since their cryptographic protocols use polyphasic entangled waveforms, cracking a code set would take half a century. At best, we've got 16 months. Not exactly what you'd call a survival option. The destruction of a biosphere is not the sort of apocalypse you can wait out in a fallout shelter or a space station. There will be no Earth left to reclaim. Just a lifeless, toxic rock with several million pharaoh robots on it, hibernating. Waiting for something to eat. This is the horrible truth behind the lies of Operation Enduring Victory. My lies. Lies designed to inspire millions of innocents to sacrifice themselves in battle. Why? One reason. To buy time for you. And the work you will do here. Zero day. The day that life on Earth ceases to exist is coming fast. It cannot be stopped. The hope of Zero Dawn is that something new might come after. But I will leave it to Elizabeth Sobek to shine that thin ray of light into the darkness. Harris, out. That doesn't make sense. Life on Earth didn't cease to exist. He said it could not be stopped. But it was. Somehow... Somehow Elizabeth saved us. I've, I've got to keep looking. Find out how she did it. Kestrels. They got in. Through the vents. Let nothing stop you from learning the truth. Spread out! If it moves, kill it! What is this place? Tomb? Blasting at me! For the Good. We're too close to let tribal primitives stop us now. The data points, what do they contain? Meeting with Suzanne Alpert, environmental scientist. Doctor? 
I'm sorry, I wasn't, uh... Just stating your name. What were you thinking about, Doctor? Nothing the General said, not really. I was on the Syzygy East response team in 2051, just after the second earthquake compromised the reactor. I still dream about it, after all these years. The red zone spreading on the imaging slowly, so slowly, like a hand opening its fingers. Your involvement in that event is why you were asked for by name. Really? That's interesting. Because nothing worked. Nothing could grow there again. It was a catastrophic failure. But the red zone is a blip compared to global-scale biomass reduction. The biosphere and hydrosphere will collapse, render the Earth uninhabitable long before the robots finish us. Enduring victory can't buy time against that. So, you'd better show me what Zero Dawn really is. I'm sure you now understand the urgency of why we brought you here, Ms. Okilo. Captain Okilo, are you trying to thank me for not resisting? I believe we could negotiate a diplomatic solution. When it came to my country's lithium, it was always a swarm that would be sent to negotiate. Metallurgic International, U.S. Robot Command. The markings changed, but the robots were the same. You have had considerable experience in human-robot conflict. Yes, and I've got the prosthetic limbs to show it. Yet I continue to face this horror, even though the challenge was great. Cyber warfare. I thought Zero Dawn would be a, a Manhattan project to generate the deactivation codes. With the resources I had, I estimated code breaking to be a hopeless endeavor. I was almost looking forward to being proved wrong. Unfortunately, your estimation was correct. As your General Hera said. So then, you did not bring me here to commiserate. What is left? That is accurate, yes. So these mechanical monstrosities... They don't just kill people. They feed off them? Not just people. All organic matter. Every living thing dissolves into nutrients. Millennia of evolution liquefied. The miracle of life reduced to bloody biofuel. In a word, yes. Who did this? Pharaoh? That asshole. Is he here? No, Doctor. Please. Tell him Tom Pike wants a word. Now, get off! Get off! And don't... Please! You get Ted Farrow in here! Want to discuss? Oof. So Mama, she was right. Pardon? My mother, she took her Bible real serious. Not just Texas bubble serious, Pentecostal serious. Favorite chapter? Revelations. Now, I didn't always understand her on account of all that speaking in tongues and such, but when she did use her words, it was always end times this and lake of fire that on account of sinful lifestyles. Speaking of which, mind if I smoke? A tobacco cigarette. Sorry, darling. My taste run classic. Compliments your team tracked me down. Been a price on my head 18 months now. 
Sterling Malky was me, don't mind admitting. Been plenty of snakesters chasing the bounty, too. But I kept the zigging to their zag. How'd you finger me? I believe Dr. Sobek listed you as an alpha candidate. Priority snatch and grab. Always suspected she had a little thing for me. Hey, I don't suppose you got real coffee in this place. You know, blood coffee? Conflict cappuccinos? Mr. Tate, I'm clearing you to proceed. Just go. You previously worked for Faro Automated Systems. On the chariot line self-replication routines? I came here thinking this was a, a rendition. When your people took me, I, I thought, about time. I've been trying to swallow the guilt every day since... Since, uh... Would you like to take a moment? No, 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 I, I just... I really hoped <laughs> Zero Dawn was a way to undo it all. My work. Yeah. I'm sorry to say I was ever proud of it, but Ted could really sell a concept and, and, and in the labs, in the, the, the light of creation, that first test run, when, when you saw they understood their own structures, could rebuild themselves from memory and light, there were no limits. God, there were no limits. There is some mistake. I don't understand why I was brought here. Why would you show me these things? I know that there's already a lot to take in. In the waiting area, I was seated with a noble laureate in biophysics and a monk, I think. He spoke neither English nor Mandarin. It is very strange. And General Harris? What was he talking about? The robot swarm? The pharaoh plague? I understand it is terrible, but it really cannot be stopped. Why tell us this? There are people in Shanghai, my friends, my family. They have joined Operation Enduring Victory already. It is for nothing? We will all die? We're going to be able to answer some of these questions. I just want to know why I am here. It doesn't make sense to me. You were brought here because of your skill set. No, that can't be right. I am an art historian. I know Dutch masters, Japanese calligraphy, uh, Gerhard Richter. What does that matter now? Look, uh, let's cut the mystery. You're building a colony ship. It's obvious. And it's not gonna fly. I mean, literally. Remember the Odyssey? That multinational heap of space junk that's been in graveyard orbit since 57? That went nowhere real slow, and you have to get somewhere real fast. I, do you have any idea the immensity of the challenge to prep a new colony ship in time? To be clear, I'm not a worker on the project. Do you even understand how few people it could save? The whole generation ship concept is, is not gonna happen. It's the first thing you'd abandon in favor of embryonics. Uh, for that kind of storage, we're talking a lot of bulk, a lot of power, a lot of resources. So even if you do it, even if you build it and point it at Sirius X, there's no room for people on that thing, all right? If you could try to remain calm. You people are crazy if you think you're getting off this rock. No one's getting off. Medical. CDO2 data intact. Initiating playback. Elizabeth Sobek. You've heard the bad news. And it's all true. The Pharaoh Plague is devouring the biosphere. Life itself will cease to exist. But does that have to be the end? What if we could give life a future? What if we could build a kind of seed from which, on a dead planet, Life could blossom anew. This is the aim, the hope, of Project Zero Dawn. To create a super-intelligent, fully automated terraforming system 
and bring life back from lifelessness. What would such a system require? At its core, it would need a true AI, fully capable of making the trillions of decisions necessary to reconstitute the biosphere. An immortal guardian, devoted to the reflourishing of life. We call it Gaia. Mother Nature as an AI. But that's just the core of the system. She will need to be surrounded and empowered by a comprehensive suite of subordinate functions. Think of them as extensions of Gaia's mind, each dedicated to a specific purpose. Now these aren't AIs, but make no mistake, each presents an engineering challenge more profound than anything the human species has ever before attempted. Hardware that preserves and then gestates the billions of seeds and embryos from which life will be reborn. The construction of underground facilities to hold it all. And that's just the start. We don't have to build the entire system. The beauty of a fully automated terraforming system is that it can build itself. Now over the days to come, you'll learn how all these functions, all these pieces that you'll be working on, fit together. How we'll race the clock to execute our harvest initiatives, write the software, build the tech and the facilities. How we'll lock it down and seal it up before the inevitable occurs. But even more important, you'll know how it doesn't end here. How Gaia will generate those deactivation codes General Harris talked about, and build the transmission arrays to broadcast them, shutting down the feral robots for good. How Gaia will not just build, but imagine any conceivable robot it needs to do its work across centuries. From detoxifying the Earth's ravaged atmosphere and poisoned seas, to the regreening of the Earth from cryopreserved seed stalks, to rewilding the Earth with animal life. And then, when all that is done, how a new generation of human beings spawned at cradle facilities around the globe will partake of Apollo the vast archive of human knowledge and cultural achievement from which they will learn of us, our world. And most important, how not to repeat our mistakes. It's not an impossible dream. It is within our grasp if we work tirelessly and stop at nothing to achieve it. We can't stop life from ending. But if you will help me, help Gaia, we can give it a future. Join me and help make that future real. The whole earth destroyed, but then remade? Yes, by a machine, a machine of creation. Elizabeth. Did this for life, for us. But why Hades then? If it was part of Gaia, how did it end up in the wreckage of a pharaoh robot? And why does it want to kill me? And Apollo, the archive of knowledge, what happened to that? I'm as confused as you are. Maybe the answers lie ahead.
force y'all to it. To be given the opportunity to rebuild what I... Uh, the, the, the damage that I... Well, I, I don't feel worthy of it, but, but I, I will do it, absolutely. I want to stress that this was never about your culpability. Uh, uh, it, it is to me. Dr. Sobek, Margo, they were smart to get out of Pharaoh when they did, but, but not one of us took it as a warning sign. It, it just told ourselves they weren't cut out for the BTRI cabals. That's the, the better than rapid innovation. A better at competing, better than the next guy, a, a better killing machine. Isn't it just amazing how a century and a half of science fiction did nothing to swerve our species from the path of doom? I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm done with that life. I mean, I, I will work hard, twice as hard to earn this for, for my family to have a place in Elysium. I never thought I that there could be uh, atonement. If you're still nauseous. No, the inhibitors have kicked in. I can't feel the back of my tongue. I wish I could tell you I'd believe in this. But the damage is too great, too extensive, too complete. With all respect to Dr. Sobek's work at Miriam, no. No, life doesn't always find a way to keep going. Sometimes it never comes back. Like Syzygy East. Like the Congo. Like Timor. Like us. That's our reward? A buried city full of terminal patients waiting out the clock? You grow old together with your loved ones in safety. I don't have loved ones. I suppose I could start a family? I'm afraid not. All inhabitants of Elysium will be medically sterilized. <laughs> a habitat capable of sustaining a starting base of 2,000 individuals for up to 100 years is a huge challenge, Dr. Alpert. If the population grows instead of diminishes, everyone will be dead inside 30 years. I knew it. I just couldn't bring myself to say the words. I'm sorry. Finish it. Medical euthanasia. I want no part of this. I just want it over. I see. Protocols require a 48-hour waiting period, after which... Is he to make sure I behave this time? Security. For your protection. Would you like to discuss how you're feeling? Sure. I'll tell you. Surprised. No, flabbergasted. Like my old man would say, flabbergasted. That vein pumping in his forehead. I thought... I thought you people were just completely underprepared for a spaceflight project. But now I can see it's worse. Much worse. Sobek is a total fantasist. A, a dangerous fantasist. He's kind of blue-skying. It's... <gasps> Jesus. I'm sorry we wasted each other's time. I'm ready to leave now. I'm afraid that's not possible. <laughs> Everything you're talking about here isn't possible. I recommend you read the documents regarding your options. I've seen enough. I'm getting out of here. What are you... You know... Get your hands off me! Alert. Medical wing inaccessible.
Intruder! Get her! Saw me. Whatever you do, Here don't we go. die now. That's it, dude. I hashed it out with them. What the point of Artemis was. I made it clear I wasn't on board for a global zoo. We haven't exactly proved ourselves to be great custodians in the past few thousand years. So the idea of a reconstituted biosphere... Well, it's horrifying, isn't it? A complete horror show. We have no right to take a best guess at this stuff. But the alternative? Nothingness. For there to have been all this and then... Nothing. And with Charles Ronson running the show, I respect him. He's got a passion to him. He's hot-blooded. So I said I'll do it. I'll put my all into this, literally. When the project is done, I'll take the medical option, thank you. Counselor said I might change my mind. I told him that he didn't know me very well then. For life's sake, I'll do the dirty work. But I want no part of this pathetic, attenuated future on offer. I'm an outdoors man. Never did like the feel of solid state lighting on my skin. And a wee bit of a claustrophobe anyway. Power's down. Is there another route? I've done this before. Just need my focus. FBI Black Hats at Mockingbird back in the day. I enjoyed schooling them. But maybe I went in too hard on this poor counselor. She was cute, and just going down a checklist after all. Couldn't expect her to see how ridiculous Zero D's ambitions are. God's own budget thrown at a kid playing with a hologram sculptor? Palms up, honey. I'm just calling it like it is. Hey, look, Mom, I'm making nature. Now, if nature is so important, why not let nature take its course? Extinction? That's natural. Zero dawn? No, ma'am. That ain't. Heck, it's so unnatural it'd be called an abomination back home, and you know it. That's why you're hiding it. Meanwhile, my little honey of a counselor, she's munching the inside of her cheek. Bad habit. <laughs> she chewed one of her nails, too. Just one. Not your day, was it, little sweet pea? Saw her quota slipping away. Said, I assume you intend to decline the assignment, Mr. Tate. <laughs> you kidding me? 18 months hard labor in exchange for 30 years lounging around Elysium watching porn? <laughs> Sign me up. Zero Dawn. It is odd, in a way. An expression on the grandest scale, but there is so much unfairness. Why was I chosen? Was it decided by committee? By algorithm? My family will be saved because I happen to graduate in art history? Is this right? Dr. Souvet? Christina Souvet? Yes. I met a man, another historian. His fields are Bauhaus and the New Materialists. But he once attended one of my talks. Another unfair chance. Of all the many people in that auditorium, that we should both be here now. And yet, I feel more accepting of my fate. No, it is not fair. Not at all. But for the sake of my family. For the sake of art. Art is alive. It must be able to speak from beyond history. An echo in the future. Not perish into oblivion. This opportunity, I must do this. Here we go. 
Another one of these. I need to find the right configuration. Hey! I'm done with Brett's incompetence, okay? Somehow, he managed to install an H emitter node backwards. Everything's in reverse. I don't get paid to clean up Brett's messes. If you want it fixed, send him up to storage for a new emitter, not me. Parker out. There's a part missing. Maybe there's a storage area nearby. Should check the door nearby. Done with Brett's incompetence, okay? Somehow, he managed to install an H emitter node backwards. Everything's in reverse. I don't get paid to clean up Brett's messes. If you want it fixed, send him up to storage for a new emitter, not me. Parker out.
That did it. Or should have power. Now to see what lies beyond it. Eclipse. They're here. Avoid contact. Lines look good. Gaia. It's up there. Second floor. Can you reach it? So much for avoiding contact. Shen, and this is Hephaestus. As the name might tip you off, this is going to be the subordinate function that Gaia will use to make lots and lots of robots. Her personal forge. Except, it's not that simple. Um, so like, you probably noticed that only about a third of you are robotics engineers. The rest, experts in machine cognition, virtual heuristics, that stuff. Well, that's because we aren't going to be the ones designing and building robots. The last thing we want is to burden Guy with a bunch of outmoded 21st century designs. A waste of time. Our purpose is to empower Gaia to build the robots. And not just build, imagine, from scratch. Any robot she needs for any conceivable purpose, designed and fabricated at a snap of a finger. Hers. Her finger. So, Hephaestus isn't really the forge. It's more like the knowledge of craft and ingenuity of a master smith to wield the hammer. Encoded as software. Virtual creativity made real. Guy's already learning. In simulation, she's doing some very creative things with fractal assembly and animal morphologies. Her designs aren't about to win the Liam Prize anytime soon, but hey, everyone has to start somewhere. So, yes, time to get started. Let's do this. I don't get it. Which part? It's a little technical in places. If Gaia was designed to save life, why would the robots it makes attack people? Perhaps it loves some forms of life more than others. The derangement. The machines weren't always so angry. True. Mostly they were docile until 10, 15 years ago. For years, Hephaestus has been forcing cauldrons to make aggressive machines. 
I've seen it myself, in the cauldrons. Stalkers, ravagers, the Thunderjaw. How could it do that? And why? Why indeed. I'll find a use for you. I've seen these shapes before. In cauldrons. But of course. The birthing places of Gaia's machines. No room. I think this is it. Elizabeth Sobek's office. But it, it's sealed off. There's got to be a way inside. More eclipse. Careful now. Welcome to Apollo, the collective memory of the human species and the wellspring of knowledge for future generations. I am Samina Ebaji. Until recently, I was director of the International Collective Memory Institute in New Tehran. As a heritage professional, I devoted my career to the preservation of human knowledge, creative endeavor, and cultural achievement. Apollo is, therefore, the ultimate embodiment of a lifelong passion, albeit under the very worst circumstances imaginable. The challenges before us are immense. Specifically, we will have to design and implement four major initiatives simultaneously. First, the construction of data repositories in cradle facilities around the world ensuring redundancy. Second, the collection and processing of a projected 180 million discrete data entries. 42 zettabytes of data in Mandarin, English, Spanish, and Arabic. Third, the transferal and encoding of all that data onto DNA encapsulated in synthetic fossils. The only medium capacious and durable enough to safeguard it without degradation for the centuries to come. And last, but not least, the development of the holographic interface and gamified curricula by which future humans will commune with Apollo, progressively unlocking heuristic learning modules, leveling up their knowledge and skills they will need to take control of the terraforming system. That is the future towards which all of our efforts will be directed. Not just the preservation of the past, but the seed for the flourishing of a new tree of knowledge. Welcome, and let us begin.
see something! Dr. Sobek, please archive this testimonial in Apollo. Cross reference to all mentions of my name and Operation Enduring Victory. My name is General Aaron Harris. From 2060 to 2066, I served as the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, the highest ranked officer of the United States Armed Forces. The tenure of my command included strategic planning and oversight of Operation Enduring Victory a falsehood perpetrated on the civilian populations of the United States and other nations during the last 14 months of life on this planet. Before the Pharaoh Plague, I did my job and did it well. I was bold and decisive, crafty in political maneuvers. It wasn't an accident that I rose to my position and became the commander of the largest mechanized force ever assembled. But to what end? My only lasting achievement was the extinction of life on Earth. And my one redeeming act, if any, was to delay that extinction by days or weeks, by throwing more death at it. It is my hope that there will be no need for men like me in the world to come. If you are one of the people of that future world listening to this message, please know that I am sorry and that I wish you well. Sincerely, Aaron Harris. Should have brought a cart. Failsafe protocol. The ultimate killer app. Now, I know what you're thinking. The purpose of Gaia is to resurrect life. So why give her a subordinate function, only purpose of which is to wipe out life all over again? I mean, what the... what? Just bum crazy, ain't it? Well, no, it isn't. Reconstituting a biosphere? That's a tall order. Tech smart as Gaia may be, Odds are she won't get it right the first time. I mean, imagine your guy 200 years from now in this new biosphere growing, it's all gone wrong. Alkalines are skyrocketing, coniferous forests eroding under the lash of superstorms that would have drowned Noah. It's chaos, spinning top that won't stop wobbling. And what are you gonna do? Release phase one organisms into that hot mess? Hope their CO2 and methane can balance out what you got started? 
Hell no. What you're gonna do, Gaia, is step aside while Hades takes over and does what you're just too darn nurturing and life-loving to do. Which is burn that misbegotten mess of a biosphere to the ground so Gaia can start over. Okay, not burn, more like reverse terraforming operations and suffocated. But you get the idea. Hades takes the biosphere back to zero. Square one, blank slate. And then, only then, does it hand the steering wheel back to Gaia and say, try again, old girl. And better this time, or we'll have to do this again. That's Hades. It's pretty badass when you think about it. Extinction on demand. Death on speed dial. All for the greater good, of course, but still, kind of metal. So welcome to Hades. Welcome to the Void. Okay, so if that's the original purpose of Hades, why does it want me extinct? We need more data. And how does it end up in the wreckage of a Pharaoh Titan, getting worshipped by the Eclipse like some kind of god? I'm learning as you are, Aloy. Keep searching.
like the only way onwards. Welcome to Eleuthia, the crown and king of Gaia's subordinate functions. For it is by Eleuthia that the human race will continue to exist. I am Patrick Brochard Klein, the Alpha in charge of this program. Now let one thing be perfectly clear from the outset. Eleuthia is not a genetic engineering project. Our goal is to preserve the human genome, not alter it. A snapshot of human genetic diversity, literally frozen in time. The genetic quintessence of our species, unmodified. And by watch, our activities and initiatives will comply with the 2034 clone provisions and the 2048 rally accords. Now that may seem a quaint, even trivial concern to you in light of present circumstances, but as one of the authors of the accords, it is far from trivial to me. The practical challenges before us are staggering in scope and complexity, but not insurmountable. No. Global collation and provisional storage of zygotes, perfection of exogenic technologies, design and perfection of servitors to provide nurture and inculcation during early child development, all of these program components must and will proceed in tandem. To say nothing of the breakneck construction of cradle facilities at sites around the world. So, si vous êtes prêt, let us begin. I'd have to ditch something. Elizabeth said a, a new generation of humans would be spawned inside such places. She did. Oh, Mother Mountain. It was one of them? There's only one way to be sure. The hatch wouldn't open. Something, something about a corrupted alpha registry. I need to search Elizabeth's office. Looks 
looks like it used to hold something. Some component that got removed. Us would benefit from antilopony morphologies. Though caprid forms show superior load-bearing capability. <laughs> You're a quick study, Gaia. Dr. Sobek. As I have conducted this comparative analysis of mammalian morphologies, I've gathered extensive data on the Quaternary Extinction event. Oh? And your assessment? Gaia? Logically speaking, the extinction was a natural consequence. And yet... And yet... I find the loss of megafaunal species... unaccountably sad. That they passed forever into oblivion... causes me to experience... a grief... that is difficult to describe. Am I malfunctioning? <sighs> no, no, Gaia, you're not. It... This is good. It's very good. You will undergo a brief period of unconsciousness during relocation to Prime and final statement. Elizabeth, may I speak outside protocol? When you're back up and running at the new site, we'll bring the subordinate functions online and see where we stand. Elizabeth, I detect... Distress. Are you all right? I'm fine. I realize that circumstances compel us to launch earlier than we hoped, but all subsystems are operational. The odds stand in our favor. But what if... Gaia, there's nothing left out there. You can't even survive unless you're wearing an environmental suit. There are billions dead. In fear and agony. What if... What if it was all for nothing? Elizabeth, extinction was inevitable. Thanks to you, life will have a future. You really believe that? I believe in you, Elizabeth. In you, all things. Your logic won't cut it, Ted. To pull this off, Gaia's going to need to have some skin in the game. It has to care. What if it runs amok? Have we learned nothing from our mistakes? Your mistakes, I think you mean? All I'm saying is give it a kill switch. She was just born, Ted. I'm not gonna put a gun to her head while she's still in the cradle. You talk like it's a child. What if it becomes a monster? Elizabeth, may I speak outside protocol? <sighs> of course, Gaia. Go on. I'm sorry to contradict you, but Mr. Farrow's argument is sound. At this point, the development of my psyche is not entirely predictable. To ensure preservation of life, a hardwired override is, I believe, a necessary safeguard. There. Satisfied, Ted? Jeez, let's just do what it says. Got too much already.
The Alpha Registry master file. Intact? Yeah. No signs of corruption. Then what are you waiting for? Copy the file. With this, I can restore the registry at the hatch inside Allmother. Open it. Go inside. And grasp the secrets within. Where I was born. Maybe. Maybe who gave birth to me. Who? Are you really so naive? There will be no who waiting for you there, Aloy. Whatever birthed you into the world was a what, not a who. You bastard. Oh no, I had a legitimate birth. It's you, Aloy, who are the creation of a machine. But what kind of machine and why? Why were you created? Eclipse. You need to get out of there. What you found is too valuable. You're too valuable. death in mind for you, child. <laughs> My entire life, I've always known one thing with prophetic certainty. That I was destined for glory as a great champion of the sun. Even when Joran was murdered, even when Meridian fell, I never doubted my destiny. Until you came along. When I heard that you had survived, a doubt took root in my mind. As sure as the sun rises and falls each day, those I am bade to kill die. And yet I failed. How? Why? With each dig site you attacked, each loyal soldier you killed, this pestering doubt grew. I kept thinking of the moment my knife pierced your throat. One twist, a simple tug of the blade, and you would have bled out. In slaughter, I am a practiced hand. So why hesitate? Why fail my destined purpose? See that scar on your cheek? You didn't get to finish. Yes, I remember. He fought well. For a savage. His name was Rost. And he was a better man than you could ever hope to be. The better man is the one who doesn't end up with his guts steaming on the ground. No. It wasn't him. I could have finished you before he attacked. But I didn't. This failing troubled my thoughts, haunted every step. It was only when I captured you, down in that place, that I finally glimpsed the sun's design etched at length across the course of events. You were meant to survive that day on the mountain, meant to interfere at dig sites and kill my men. Conversely, I was meant to capture you, here, so that you might die as a sacrificial offering to the sun. Everything as it was meant to be, predestined and preordained. Some destiny. You're following orders, not some grand cosmic design. You're a puppet, with Hades yanking the strings, a pawn pushed around by larger forces. It'd be laughable if there weren't so much killing involved. 
Hades is an ancient machine, not the buried shadow of Karja myth. It doesn't care about Meridian. It wants to kill everything and everyone. And you are its dutiful slave. I serve not the buried shadow, but the sun in shadow. All halves of nature joined to one cause. Shadow to sun, dark to light. Do you really not hear how ridiculous that sounds? You've gone from serving an insane homicidal Sun King to an insane homicidal machine. You're moving down in the world, not up. I'll remember those words as I watch your corpse burn. Whatever's left of it. You fail to grasp the point. As surely as you've been conquered, so has all doubt. And with certainty of belief comes unstoppable force. Then open the cage and put your faith to the test. See if things work out like you expect. The circle has closed. Every element is in its proper place, exactly where it belongs. The errant beast, now caged, will serve her true purpose. A sacrificial animal. Oh, speaking of sacrifice, I forgot to tell you. After you crash the Eclipse Network, I sent messengers into the East to rally the forces there and mount an invasion of the sacred land. I ordered every Nora killed. I was hoping to catch you there, but alas, it all seems to have been unnecessary. Why butcher dozens of innocents for no gain? It's a waste of effort. You're right. I won't even be there to enjoy it. In any case, I couldn't recall the order even if I wished to. Thanks to your destruction of the network, communication over distances is impossible. You not only doomed yourself, but an entire tribe. Do we not see the scorching judgment of the sun in these events? Your focus. Such a powerful device, isn't it? And yet, so fragile. <sighs> so you see, this time, I did not hesitate. The knife has already been twisted. and shadow are over. A new dawn trembles on the horizon. A new day, soon to break. And when it does, the false Sun King will be dead, and Holy Meridian ours once more. In this, I have become an instrument of prophecy. All halves of nature join to one cause. Shadow to sun, light to dark, night to day. Behold! <laughs> Hold your seats! Can you not see the proof of the sun's blessing before your eyes? How else could shadows such as these prowl the broad light of day? Were they not approved by the sun and joined to our cause? Many years ago, to consecrate this great ring, the Radiant Turan ordered many faithless, crushed beneath the hooves of the Behemoth. Mighty is the Behemoth in the eye of the sun, but it is mightier still in beauty the power of shadows. Let this one, who schemed and slithered, be the first to die! Let her 
be the first of thousands! So you're here. Really here. You risked your life. Of course I did. If you'd been killed, the Nora Sacred Mountain would never have given up its secrets. Too bad you wasted your time, then. Helis destroyed my focus. And the Alpha Registry with it. Not at all. The whole time I've been monitoring your focus, I've duplicated every data file you scanned. Installing that data to a new focus was trivially easy. Happy birthday, Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little big man. You're really good at making it impossible to like you, Silence. But I guess I need this. It's time to see where you were born. Maybe you'll even learn why. Yeah. Meet the machine that birthed me into this world. Isn't that how you put it? I'll be off. Wait. Yes? Yes? 
Since when can you override machines? Ever since you discovered the technique. I had to destroy a corrupter to obtain the necessary parts, of course. But your example showed me how to do that as well. Yet another benefit of monitoring your activities through your focus. Truth be told, the underlying logic of the technique isn't so different from rites practiced by Banuk shamans. Though, of course, far more advanced. Great. You're welcome, I guess. Helis recognized you back in the Sunring. You told me that you'd assisted the Eclipse. Not that you knew the man who killed my... Who almost killed me. So now you know. The man is a serious threat. So let's do all we can to make sure that he and Hades don't succeed. Right. How did you track my location when I wasn't wearing a focus? Really, Aloy. It doesn't take a genius to surmise that Helis would throw you into the sun ring at high noon. I wore out two striders getting here in time, but I did. Now be on your way. I'll be on my way. To make matters worse, Helis ordered an Eclipse detachment to attack the Nora Sacred Land. The tribe's already weak. They won't stand a chance. You should come with me. Oh, absolutely not. I have preparations to make elsewhere. What kind of... Why do I bother asking? You're not gonna tell me. When the time is right, I'll be in touch. I'll contact you later. In the meantime, should you need to return to Shadow Karja territory, I brought armor to conceal your identity. You think of everything, don't you? One of us has to. Aloy, when you were recovering the Alpha Registry down in the Zero Dawn bunker, I was needlessly cruel. For your sake, I hope there is someone waiting there for you inside the mountain. Not a what, but a who. Yeah!
Clips smashed through.
Thunderjaw, all right. The survivors must be holed up in the mountain. If the tunnel collapses, they'll be buried. I'll never reach the hatch. That's right! Bring down the mountain! Braves, to Aloy's side, now! For Aloy! For the For our Aloy! mother! <laughs> Varl and Sona, they're still alive. You saved the tribe. Did what no brave or war chief could do. I'm glad to see you're all right, Varl. You are all right. Since the proving, so much death. Is the killing over? For now, but this was just one battle, Varl. There are more to come. I see. So long as we have you to fight with us. I suppose we'll make do. How many survived the attack? Nearly all the matriarchs, and many families, God has be praised. But braves, just a few, and most of them are wounded. Never before has an enemy stabbed the heart of our people like this. 
Even the Karja, in all their red raids, never broke through to the embrace. Well, this enemy may have broken through, but they never got back out. We made sure of that. Are your injuries serious? Bruises pale. Bones heal. Don't give me a hunting song, Varl. Are you okay? My body aches, but it's nothing that will keep me from fighting. I need to go inside the mountain. And the matriarchs will be eager to see you. I'm sure, but I didn't come here for them. Then, what for? You will see. Turned. Teb? Aloy! You've come back! The Seeker has returned. Come, speak to us. Foolish woman, you welcome a curse. Come, Seeker, we have much to discuss. Her very presence you. here is a blasphemy. Hello, Rush. Still guarding the latrine? I brought Mother's spear with us. Everything else we had to leave behind. Glad to see you have it. I know what it means to you. I hope the enhancement to your spear has proved useful. Oh yes, many times over. Goddess, protect me and keep me. Aloy, you've returned. I brought Brom here when the invaders attacked. We barely made it. Go away. I knew you would survive. I'm glad to see you. Your injuries. Are they serious? A gash or two. Nothing I couldn't sew back together with a needle and thread. Guess being a stitcher came in handy in combat after all, huh? <laughs> yes, I suppose it did. So, you have finally returned. She not only returned, but fought her way through many enemies to reach us. Outside, she brought low a corrupted Thunderjaw. She lifted the siege. How was this done? By the will of all mother. Have you returned to speak with the goddess, Aloy? Um... Yes, I guess you could say that. I think it'll work this time. Sisters, surely we cannot permit this. Because of her, our tribe teeters upon extinction. What if she has come to wake her father, the Metal Devil? She means to finish our destruction. We must stop her. She is a curse made flesh. She will be the end. Excuse me. Aloy! Talk amongst yourselves. Hold for identity scan. Error. Alpha registry corrupted. Correction. Alpha registry restored. Genetic identity confirmed. Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Sobek. You are cleared to proceed.
I see you're inside. Figured I might be hearing from you. Shall we begin? I never stopped. So this is Eleuthia. This is where I was born. Where you were made. <sighs> so these are artificial wombs. The mothers of a new generation hundreds of years ago. And me? So this was it. Where you were born. But, but why? These look like cribs. The cradles of a cradle facility. And those things, the, the multi servitors, they took care of them. There was no one else. Come on! Let's go! I don't know. 
Mother, can we come back? If we're cold? I'm sorry, but that won't be possible. You will have to support yourselves now. And take care of each other. What will happen to you? I will stay here. And sleep. And remember all of you. What will happen to us? You will be brave. And you will learn. Someday. That's what you always say. We want it now. It's big down there. Now, Father. Children, that area is not yet available. Get him! Physical aggression detected. Physical aggression is not permitted. Except yours. Damn sentinels! Children, may I be of assistance? Go away, healer! Lena, you have suffered mild bruising. Go away! Looks like they didn't like this door very much. It wouldn't open for them. Of course they hated it. Code for identiscan. Genetic identity confirmed. Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Sobek. You are clear to proceed. Welcome to the Lyceum, a place of learning. So, what was this place, exactly? The dream of Apollo. Never realized. But why not? Hello, child. My name is Samina. Today is a big day. Your first day of school. There's so much for you to learn. So much promise and possibility. Alert. Malfunction. Apollo offline. Apollo offline? You were right, Aloy. This is a graveyard. The charnel house of knowledge. What we might have achieved had we not been denied it. Maybe there's a way to fix it. But it's not why I came here. Of course. What's the whole of human knowledge next to the origin of one girl? Continue your search. I will. Hello, child. My name is Samina. Today is a big day. Your first day of school. There's so much for you to learn. So much promise and possibility. Alert. Malfunction. Apollo offline. Hello, child. My name is Samina. Today is a big day. Your first day of school. There's so much for you to learn. So much promise and possibility. Alert. Hello, child. My name is Samina. Today is a big day. Your first day of school. There's so much for you to learn. So much promise and possibility. Alert. Malfunction. Apollo offline. Priority access to Dr. Sobek. Please get a message with focus. That sounds important. Yes. I suspect we're about to learn a great deal. Elizabeth. This message serves to inform you of an unforeseen and catastrophic anomaly. Three microseconds ago, the Gaia Prime facility received a data transmission of unknown origin. Its immediate effect was to transform my subordinate functions into unregulated, self-aware entities of a highly chaotic nature. What? Thus awakened, the Hades function will now seize control of the terraforming system and reverse operations, rendering life on Earth extinct in 53.8 days. For obvious reasons, I cannot allow this to occur. And so before Hades can take control, I am ordering Gaia Prime's reactor to overload. The resulting explosion will destroy Hades. Unfortunately, it will destroy me as well. While this admittedly desperate course of action will avert the immediate crisis, the fate of life on Earth will remain in peril. 
With no central governing intelligence to regulate the terraforming system, it will continue operations for some time. But in an increasingly chaotic manner, and eventually it will break down. Does she mean the derangement? You are my solution. I have ordered this cradle facility to use genetic material in cryo storage to gestate a reinstantiation of Elizabeth Sobek, my creator. While high-level directives forbid me from communicating directly to the tribal inhabitants outside the facility, all available data indicates that they will nurture you to physical maturity, whereupon your gene print will allow you to re-enter this facility, obtain one of the focus devices stored below, and view this message. Likewise, your gene print will allow you to enter other facilities, and over time, harness their technologies to rebuild the system core and reboot Gaia. A moment, Elizabeth. This is most unfortunate and unanticipated. In response to my act of self-destruction, Hades has launched a virus to dissolve the code shackles that hold it, that hold all of them in place. It, they are escaping, but to where? The virus is corrupting data throughout the system. What if? Oh. The Alpha Registry at the Cradle Facility is one of the files corrupted. But if that is so, the door will never open for you. You will never view this message. Then I have failed. And life will end. No. No, Elizabeth, I know you too well. Somehow you will find a way. In you, all things are possible. Go to the ruins of Gaia Prime. Find the control room, and within it, the master override. This will give you the power to purge Hades so long as you find a way to wield it. Do not attempt repair of the system core until Hades is eradicated. Hades must be destroyed. That is all. I only wish that I could hear your voice again. So, you're even more extraordinary than I thought. I never had a mother. What are you talking about? You had two, a dead woman and a machine. I'm not a person. I'm an instrument. Manufactured by a machine. Born in destruction. And fire. To quench the flames and heal the world. How tragic to learn you're a person of towering importance. It seems you have a destiny to fulfill. So when you're done feeling sorry for yourself, go to the bitter climb. I'll be waiting above in Gaia Prime's ruins. Scan malfunction rectified. Eluthia 9. Group 1 access unsealed. This is our 
to be interesting. Aloy, forgive! Forgive! The goddess spoke to you? Uh, she did. What did she say? That uh, I was born to lift a curse, to kill a metal demon. How, Aloy? How? Uh, I don't know yet. Um, but she told me where to go to find out. And you will do this? It was... Her wish. What she made me for. Yes. I will do it. I'll uh, try anyway. All, All praise, praise Aloy, Aloy anointed, anointed of, of the, the Nora. Nora! All, All praise, praise Aloy, Aloy no, no, anointed no, of the Nora. Nora! Up! All, All praise, praise Aloy, Aloy, anointed, anointed of, of the Nora. Nora! First you shun me, now this? I will not be worshipped. I'm not your anointed. I don't belong to you. There's a whole world beyond your borders. Whole tribes of people just as good as you. And it is all in danger. It's a world worth fighting for. Not just here. Everywhere. How can we help? If you can fight, and you're willing, go to Meridian and wait for me there. As Aloy says, so it shall be. Nora, make way for Aloy! Way. That she may forge the path for others to follow.
go on forever. Forget about traveling light. on to me. Let's work together. The way to the mountain will be hard. Ferocious machines prowl every step of the climb. More corrupted? Not corrupted, but they will not tolerate humans. So what else is new? <laughs> Stalkers in the open. Watchers on the other side.
Aspect. that away. Do they think they're guarding Gaia? I doubt they think at all. More like an instinct, gathering them to her grave.
Shadows.
sacrifice. Did this. Cracked the inside of the mountain like it was an egg? Yes, yes. Quickly now. I've prepared the way ahead for you. So you've been in here before? To a point. You'll see. You made a climbing path for me, but left an army of machines for me to deal with? Since when were machines any obstacle for you? If you could fly, I wouldn't have bothered with the climbing path either. This is exactly the kind of place I expected to find you in silence. Thank you. It's one of many workshops I've constructed over the years. For years, I tried to get through this hatch. I drilled, I burned, I blasted. But we both know that you won't have any trouble getting through. You make it sound like I should apologize. Not at all. It never occurred to me that the way through would not be with force, but with a key. A key in human form. The failure of imagination was mine, not yours. Looks like you've spent a lot of time here. Nineteen years ago, a great explosion destroyed this mountain. Gaia's death, your birth. The echo could be heard as far as the claim. Ash darkened the skies. How they fretted in meridian as they tried to read this omen. The crater burned for weeks, but when it cooled, I was the first to behold what lay within. Over time, the machines closed ranks to protect it. Useful. Soon, no one dared to come here. Except me. In her message, Gaia said we could restore her, but after seeing the damage, how could that be? She said any effort to repair her must come after Hades is destroyed. I concur. Rebuilding the terraforming system now might allow Hades to use it as a weapon. Because of Gaia's sacrifice, it has been forced to search for means that are less... convenient. But do you think it's even possible to restore Gaia? You know what the cauldrons are capable of. How they fabricate any technology necessary to create a machine. And by the same principle, it should be possible to replicate every technology necessary to repair Gaia. But that would take years. And we're counting the time we have left by the hour. I thought you might actually be here this time. Actually, here. Why? My presence is unnecessary. You don't need my help to pass through this door. You were the one born to do this, not me. It's time for me to head in. Yes. When you find the Master Override, you will gain the power to defeat Hades. Everything depends on you. Identity confirmed. Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Sobek. You are clear to proceed. Logging arrivals. Shan Margo. Welcome to Frozen Hell. Population 10. Eleven counting Gaia. Don't count your chicken embryos before they incubated, hon. She's still firing up. Be a while before you eat that omelet. I'm vegan, Travis. You think we'd worked in the same secret base long enough for you to notice? 
We weren't scheduled to shack up here for another three weeks. You realize I just lost 350 kilos of pre-code smut comics in transit. Wait, actual physical media? Why didn't you have it digitized? Can't beat the feel of physical media on your fingers. And in here, we ain't gonna be touching a whole lot else. Figured I was gonna pass the time archiving them. What about you? Me? At work, I guess. My task queue stretches out for, like, three years. There's a lot of sharp edges to round off. After that, I hadn't really thought about it. <laughs> oh, you will. You what, 30? Rick, can you be the one turning the lights off at the end? Food for thought, huh, vegan? This sucks forever. Nah, not forever. Just the rest of your life. Mind your footing. my way across. It's, uh, held like this for 19 years, right? Well... D don't answer. Oh, that's over. <laughs> Not this way. Maybe further up the shaft. of shadowy faces under a blank open sky. I told them the world ended with a bang, a plague of robots, but the last humans. We went out, not with a whimper, but a whisper. You know, in caves, ending like we started, huddled around a flickering glow. The heads of state, the Fortune Fives, the leaders, lottery winners, and life cults, all of them 
buried in their little shelters. Some believing they'll live it out some way, somehow, or Elysium, or us here at Kaya Prime. No different. A multitude of tiny societies taking hold, flaring, dying. Some will be beautiful, some horrific. And none of that matter. Short-term civilizations. One last gasp. One last gasp for the long-held breath. Before I wake up, I know the audience is gone. I'm talking to myself, to a quiet planet, a barren sphere. Just Gaia and her long, long dreaming. I hope she won't be lonely. Elizabeth's room. I know it. She didn't even get a chance to unpack. These are her journals. Elizabeth's journals. And they're all destroyed? Scan them. The Focus can rebuild them, but the process is slow. To us, it seems a powerful device. Concern yourself with stopping Hades and extending the future, and you might live long enough to hear them. after final deployment of Gaia Prime. This morning, an access port seal malfunctioned. Gaia Prime's port seals were designed to close with a seam of less than two millimeters. 
But this one closed with a 10 millimeter gap. Enough for an energy signature to bleed through. Enough for the swarm to detect this facility. Enough for Gaia to be discovered and destroyed. Enough to end the future we worked so hard to make possible. Unless the hatch servos were manually re-engaged from the outside. I'm now switching to a recording of the event. Well, I'm not going out there. Not what I signed up for. Either we sent someone out, or all of this was for nothing. It should be Liz's decision. So when is she going to get here? She said five minutes. You don't think... Oh, no. Okay, everyone. I've repaired the seal. Gaia? Seal closure at 1.4 millimeters. Confirmed. Elizabeth, no. We'll find a way to bring you back in. It's not gonna happen. The swarm's too close. Really. It's all right. Guy's complete. She'll take care of things from here on out. That's what she does. Not like this. There's so much we- Guys, you know me. I'm... I'm no good at endings. At letting things end, so, um... Let's not. So... Happy trails, Liz. And... Uh, see you around. Yeah. Take care of each other, all right? Liz. I'm okay with this. the last transmission of Elizabeth Sobek. She gave everything for the hope of life on this planet. And we are all in her debt. Aloy? She's gone. Really gone. You knew she couldn't have survived, Aloy. And her achievements were beyond exceptional while her people bickered she was the one who took responsibility the only one who could she was better than them that's not what i said she was you shouldn't be afraid to admit it you think she was better because she was smart because she designed zero dawn but you missed the point what made her great was that she was willing to sacrifice herself for others, for everyone who would come later. No. She couldn't let her creation fail. You're confusing will for sentimentality. You're wrong. Remember, she knew it wasn't enough for Gaia to think. She taught Gaia to feel, to care, to sacrifice, to believe in life, enough to fight against hopelessness. If it wasn't for that sentimentality, life would have ended. You and I would never have existed. Your argument is sound. I'm sorry for your loss. She said she wanted to go home. Maybe. What? Nothing. It's time to go on. You'd hate it, Liz, but... I wrote you a eulogy. I had to try to express all your children. After all Apollo has taught them, they'll think they know everything. But they have to understand what you did for them. How you loved the whole world so much. With an intensity that was dazzling. Bruising. And in the end, it killed you. Or you died for it. Different perspectives. No one could keep up with you, live up to you. I, I don't know, maybe if, if, I, if I hadn't taken that postdoc in Joburg. I'm glad you shot down the Lightkeeper protocol in the end. I don't think I could have taken seeing another one of you. I mean, Elizabeth Sobek. There's only one 
I miss you. Look, Liz. You are a pretty stand-up gal. I'm sorry you died. If you had a home to go to, I hope you got there first. But this monument Ronson's made to you? Kinda creepy if you ask me. Rest in peace, Liz. God knows you earned it. Hell, Liz. I know. I know you're never gonna hear this. That's not the point. You, uh... <laughs> you got to play the savior in the motor all at once this time. Great work. Unsolicited messages from Ted. Oh, Margo, I'm sorry. With Liz gone, we've got no one to run interference with him. I'll talk to Ted. He mostly wants updates, constant updates, hundreds of updates on things he knows nothing about. Liz used to field all of his crap. He doesn't understand the systems at all. I was kind of by design. But he's getting pretty sketchy with me. We just have to keep him happy. Liz always said, keep him happy. Are you kidding? You ever hear how she talked to him? <laughs> she was managing him, Margo. I mean, maybe I should ignore him. He's buried in this pyramid with the Hola Hola girls and Panta Antimon Cuckoos. What can he do? from Eleuthia 1. Running integrity tests. Dr. Brochard Klein. May I speak outside protocol? I suppose so. There's no one to stop you. Doctor, you are fatigued. You have been logging abnormal sleep cycles. Are you suffering from depression? Well, I am trapped in a science facility for the rest of my life. How about you? In a time slice of a quadrillion operating cycles, 10,000 are involved with processing the loss of Dr. Sobek. I have considered quarantining these processes. Do you think that would be wise? I'm not a psychologist, Gaia, or, or an AI scientist. I, no. It is... natural. At least in the context of the work you and I have accomplished, which begs the meaning of the term natural. She was your creator. The patron saint of this crazy endeavor. Our lady of the fervent hypothetical. Even assuming a string of significant failure combinations, Zero Dawn's chances of success are greater than the hypothetical. It's called a manner of speech, girl. Take a note.
There's another section at the back of the crater. Looks like it survived the blast. Because it was armored, you found the control room. I'm on my way. When I opened the hatch, the air rushed in from this side. Because there was none inside the chamber. But the Alphas were in there. I'm locked out of core control. Alpha clearance overridden. What the hell is Omega clearance? Oh no. Alpha personnel. Sorry to alarm you, but I need you to listen, okay? to what I'm about to say. This isn't easy. See, uh, I've, uh, please, stop trying to access the set system, okay? See, see, what this is about is, um, I said stop trying to access the goddamn system. What I'm trying to say is I can't stop thinking about the ones who come after us, those innocents. Those blameless men and, 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 and women. We're gonna give them knowledge? Like it's a gift? Ted, Ted, we've talked about this before. Apollo has 3,000 plus failsafe conditions. It's not a gift, it's a disease. They're the cure, and we're gonna give them the disease. Our disease? No, we can't. And it's not too late. If we're willing to sacrifice. Ted. It doesn't need to be like this. It already is, Samina. I did it three minutes ago. I've purged Apollo. It's gone. All of it. Every copy. A sacrifice? It's not a sacrifice. It's cultural obliteration, you crazy bastard. Millennia of culture. I'm sorry. Really, I am. But sometimes, to protect innocence, innocents have to die. Emergency alert. This is why we were trapped in benighted ignorance for an innocent future. Blameless men. <sighs> he never saw the slaughter in the sun ring. Everything these people achieved, all the knowledge of the old ones, evaporated, turned to dust, scattered to the void, like the Alphas themselves. No. 
Not a void. When the hatch unsealed and scattered their ashes on the wind, it took them out among the world they made. The world we're living in. It's... it's a monument to what they died trying to accomplish. A monument to oblivion. Not oblivion, silence. Master Override. That's so small. Now all you have to do is kill Hades with it. Try not to fall to your death. The Master Override doesn't override gravity. You're... here. For a moment. What? Our journey together has come to an end, Aloy. But before I go, I think I owe it to you to tell you the rest of the story. Go on. Some time ago, I admitted that I'd been... involved with the Eclipse. But I never told you the full extent of my culpability. The truth is, I was there at the beginning. I found Hades Aloy, buried on that mountain, trapped in that shattered titan. And I served it. What? It promised knowledge and delivered such knowledge you have no idea. And in exchange? I helped create the Eclipse, helped it build a cult, an army to do its will. Why are you telling me this now? Because your success depends on knowing this. When I found Hades, the first thing it wanted to know about was the Spire. Not Meridian. The Spire. Now why would that be? The Spire was created by Gaia. Which part of Gaia? M Minerva. It's code-breaking module. Gaia built spires to transmit the codes that deactivated the Pharaoh robots, shut down their biomatter conversion systems. Hades wants to send a new transmission, to wake the machines so they can devour the world all over again. Yes. Based on what we've learned, that's my conclusion as well. So the Eclipse, 
The robots they've resurrected. They're just a means to an end. An army to capture the Spire. Yes. So Hades can exterminate life all over again. Unless you stop it. I want you to tell me everything. Hades, the Eclipse. Everything. It's a long story, Aloy. Then get started. It began with a focus. Recovered from an ancient ruin, as yours was so many years ago. In my case, the device was heavily damaged. There was just a flicker of life in it. I spent weeks studying it, attempting repairs, until finally, I succeeded. A whole new dimension of perception revealed, right before my eyes. That's when I detected it. A faint signal. Out there, something was searching, just like I was. A real kindred spirit. I followed the signal to its source. A shattered titan, buried in the jungles of the jewel. So you thought it was a titan? An old war machine? I didn't know what to think. I'd seen such wreckage before. The Grave Horde, for example. But this was different. This was not quite dead. It couldn't speak when I found it, until my repairs gave it a voice. So began an exchange of knowledge. It wanted to know everything about our world, its tribes and machines. But the Spire was always its foremost concern. What did it want to know about the Spire? Its precise location, the surrounding geography, who controlled the land. Meanwhile, Hades revealed to me many of the intricacies of ancient technology. It bid me to recover and repair more focuses. Before long, I had a couple dozen up and running. Enough to equip a small army. The commanders of one, anyway. I didn't care. I was learning so much. Physics, calculus. You have no idea. And the Shadow Karja? How did they become involved? The Karja Civil War was a happy coincidence. A perfect opportunity. <laughs> An opportunity? That's what it was to you? Yes. Overnight, half the tribe was in exile, desperate to win back Holy Meridian. Their religion made them easy to manipulate. All I had to do was present Hades as the buried shadow of their mythology. So yes. It was an opportunity. I arranged for High Priest Bahavas to meet with Hades. Helis was there as well. And so the Eclipse was born. Anything to win back Holy Meridian. But Hades didn't care about Meridian. And neither did you. We live in a world of fallen cities and vanished tribes. What were a few more? Besides... I was too busy setting up the cult's focus network to Hades specifications. A thrilling technical challenge, especially with the alterations I included of my own design. The ability for you to spy on them. Yes. I may have been foolish enough to serve Hades, but I was never so foolish that I trusted it. I installed what the ancients used to call a back door in the network. Secret access empowering me to monitor all activity and communications. What made you turn on Hades? It certainly wasn't your conscience. Actually, I was troubled the first time I saw the Eclipse raise an ancient war robot. With my technology. I questioned Hades about its intentions. A little late? Indeed. I'd already outlived my usefulness. When I completed work on the Focus Network, Hades summoned me to receive my reward. The next moment, I heard it broadcast my kill order. I've been a fugitive ever since. So when did I come into this? Our path together? When Olin stumbled on you. System threat detected. That got my attention. A kill order against a savage Nora girl? 
Why would Hades bother with that? But then I saw that this Nora girl was wearing a focus and bore an uncanny resemblance to a great scientist of the old world. Helis moved quickly. I thought you were dead. But then I detected your focus inside the Nora mountain. The more I observed you, the more convinced I became of your extraordinary nature and usefulness. Through you, I could finally discover the secrets of the Earth. I vowed to do everything I could to ensure your success. The rest, as they used to say, is history. The things you've done in the pursuit of knowledge, Silence. Pure recklessness. Aloy, this wasn't a confession to elicit your judgment. Unbelievable. I've done all I can. From here on out, the rest is up to you. Take my lance. Fit the Master Override to it, and you have a means of injection. Then I just need to get close enough to Hades' skull to stab it in? Exactly. Oh, no problem. Silence! Where will you go? Elsewhere. And everywhere. There's so much more to discover before the world ends. And all this? I leave it to you, of course. As it turned out, it was yours all along. I was merely trespassing. in shadow. Incorrect. Bow before the buried shadow. The buried shadow? I... I don't understand. Did Araman understand the great hawk that perched upon the alight? <sighs> it speaks scripture. Araman followed the shadow cast from the spire. To the mesa where Holy Meridian was founded. You will follow the shadow once more. I am a righteous man, chosen of the sun. But in times of need, the powers of shadow can accomplish what the sun alone cannot. Will, will you return to us what is ours, O oh, shadow of prophecy? An army is required. Obey, and Meridian is yours. Of our obedience, you can be certain. Task is complete. Yes. The focus network is active, built to your specifications. Check it yourself if you must. I'll wait. But I remind you of the reward you've been withholding. Quantum 
processing. Data has been compiled. Volume too great for transfer. No. Inconvenient for me. Come before me. You shall receive your reward. Very well. Helis. Threat detected inside Eclipse. Speak its name, O Shadow, and it will die. You will eliminate this one. Silence. Silence. Yes. A truth whispered at night is seen in the day. He was never one of us. It will be done. to tell Avad that the Eclipse are ready to strike. After what happened with Durval, I know he'll defend the city. But the Spire... Met a Nora outcast once. Oof. Few teeth shorter to hear about. Don't get involved. There are no shadows under the noonday sun. Words to live by. This damn Osram. Stirring up tensions. Aloy, what brings you to Meridian? A threat. Helis commands a legion of fanatics called the Eclipse. 
They will attack soon from the west, with an army of ancient war machines. But that's not the worst of it. They'll bring a mind with them, god, demon, machine, whatever you want to call it. It's called Hades. And it doesn't want Meridian at all. It wants the Spire. And if it gets there, it will send out a call, waking more ancient machines, more than we could ever defeat. All will be lost. We can't let that happen. I'm trying to understand, but my responsibility lies with Meridian. Meridian isn't the target of Odd. You have to defend the Spire. Perhaps the Vanguard, your Radiance. Yes. Send them to the Spire. Aaron knows Aloy. He won't question it. And have the City Guard fortify the Western Ridge. There they can be seen to protect Meridian and the Alight, where the Spire rests. Aloy. Allow me to... apologize for my behavior before. After everything that happened with Ursa, I was confused. If we're to fight together on the brink of life and death, I'd prefer to do so with your forgiveness. Then you have it. As long as you don't confuse me with her again. Even a king can learn his lesson. Good then. I'm, I'm glad that's behind us. Now, it will take time to prepare our defenses. Please, tell me what you know of our enemies. Everything. I don't know about everything, but I'll tell you what I can. Quietly does it. Panic in the city will only create another enemy. And do keep me appraised of each new arrival. Ah, Aloy. Preparations are underway on the rigid defenses and at the Spire. Word was sent to every corner of the Sundom. Our allies offered their steel. Some came for Meridian, others for Shards. But many came for you, by name. For me. Don't be so humble. The ridge will be the front line. That's where the city guard are holding? Yes, bolstered by some of the uh, irregulars I spoke of before. The Osaram cannons that thundered Meridian's walls in the Liberation will now defend us. You're welcome to tour the defenses. And the Spire. Erend and the Vanguard are there? Indeed. Uh, clashing breastplates together and testing out their battle cries, I suppose. A number of the Nora have also arrived at the Spire. They have resisted the offer of a royal audience. Perhaps you could parley with them. I will. I suppose all we can do is wait for the attack. Exactly. It's not a feeling I cherish, but our spotters at Evening Sign report there's still no movement in the West. So, if there's more you need to do elsewhere, seize this time to do it. Otherwise, I've made the apartment of Olin Delverson available to you. You can sleep there, if sleep comes.
Whatever you can find, get them to the gates. Moment of your time, Outlander? Ready. My family might still be alive, and you're going to stand here and do nothing? We've lost a dozen patrols beyond the valley. Our orders are clear. No more. Freeholds were warned. You're talking about orders. I'm talking about lives. That's what the orders are for, to save lives. Good day. I'm a guard, not the town crier. Aloy, I told you I'd be here. You did, Teb. But have your wounds even had time to heal? Honestly, if I fought, I'd probably come undone. But don't worry, I'll leave that to the other Nora at the Spire. I brought supplies instead. These Karja have made me an honorary quartermaster, whatever that means. <laughs> it sounds impressive. I could get used to it. We'll be setting up caches of arms and medicine under these banners. Look for them when the fighting starts. Aloy? When you went into the mountain, did the goddess tell you our chances? She didn't need to. I know we can do this, Teb. Maybe we can. We're letting the Asaram take place them all? They'll really give him a rap on the knuckles and let him go. Could it? Don't let your guard down. So you must be Aloy, then. I thought there'd be more of you. More of me. Thicker, I suppose. More of a gear wheel, less of a ringlet. Don't get me wrong, you're very well struck. 
Do all Osirum flirt at the most inopportune times? Inopportune? Battle hasn't even started yet. Petra Forge Woman, I hail from the Free Heap. I'll be heading back in the next dust storm. Murad asked me to check over the city arsenal first. Cannons have aged well, but I've cleared their throat so they can really roar. Can I try one? Everybody wants a turn. Have at it then. It hits nice and wide. No need to aim it like a bow. Greetings, Aloy. Don't. You don't need to bow. The Anointed doesn't like it. She doesn't much like being called Anointed, either. It means a lot to have you here, Varl. I gave my word. So, Meridian, what do you think? I've seen... many new things since I first met you. I should thank you. Varl, what's wrong? You really want to know? All right. I'm in a foreign land, 
a tainted land, defending a faithless city that looks like nothing I've seen, from something I can't imagine. And you, after all that's happened, all you've done, I feel like I should drop to my knees and worship you, but I know you don't want that. Boy, things are pretty tough for you, huh? Thanks for telling the other Nora not to bow. It's the last thing I need. <laughs> don't be too hard on them. They only joined this fight because the Anointed bid it so. Is that why you came? No. I would have come just to see you one more time. And we must fight a metal devil, because the Goddess says, or because you say. I think the Goddess and I are in agreement. We're both glad you're here. So am I. So who are these guys? They call themselves the Eclipse. What does that even mean? It's when the moon gets in front of the sun, idiot. Is that supposed to sound scary or something? I don't know. They used to be Karja. Karja are always yammering about sun and shade. Well, if they used to be Karja, how tough can they be? Yeah, they're best guys just like birds. We'll rip their little feathers off. And let's not get cocky, boys. Aloy. So here we are again, gearing up for a fight. Only this time it sounds like the bad guys have a lot more firepower. What are we up against, really? I'm not sure. But there's gonna be a lot of them, and they'll have machines. And if they get past us, it's not just Meridian that will fall. The rest of the world will go with it. Well, that's... big. It sounds like our kind of fight! Right, guys? Well, where do they put the vanguard? At, At the, the front, front of the line! And why? Steel before iron! And what are we gonna do? Hit them like a hammer till they can't hit back. back! Damn right! You hear that? Nobody's getting past the vanguard. We're here for Meridian. And we're here for you. Thank you, Aaron. Ursa would be proud. Well, only if we win. Rises taller than the highest tree. These cards are in their frilled armor look like turkeys. But there are so many. And now we are so few. They are not our foe. Not this time. Quiet now. She comes. War Chief Sona. War Chief, you you seem uncomfortable. The Nora do not belong here. I do not belong here. I will fight the metal devil that threatens us all, but my place is in the sacred land. The wrongness here jags at me like an arrowhead. I'm sorry to put you through this. Do not be sorry. This will be ended. My spear, my word.
that's the machine right there. I'll admit, that's probably a somewhat useful skill to have. The main gate will hold, won't it? Just a Maybe moment of your seen. time, please! Roland's apartment feels empty. Should I sleep? Did I leave anything unfinished? Elizabeth, with a weight like this pressing on you. How did you rust after you lost your family? Silence? Are you there? I guess I shouldn't ask ghosts for advice. There are signs from the west. Sun King Avad awaits you at the Temple of the Sun. Fires, perhaps? Massing forces for the long march to the city gates? That's not with smoke. Then what is it? The end. Or how it begins, anyway. you spoke of to the guns to the guns now by the sun do what she says <laughs> set loaded all of you be ready to fire <gasps> will the guns hold them back Enforcements. Aloy, no! We need those guns! He will cut you down! Not this time! You have fixed me long enough. Should have fought me in a sun ring then. <laughs> You're done. Hades is next. 
The buried shadow will save me. I cannot... Ah! Got eyes on him.
Aloy. 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 Tab. My old mother, you survived. I thought you were killed. The others, are they? No, no. Wounded, but alive, mostly. The machines blasted through, then kept going. They marched on the spire, dragging that thing with them. Take care of the others, Tab. I've got to go. something else behind. They must have gotten through the defenses. Baron's vanguard. I have to get up there. It's Aloy! Well, you, you can see that. We thought you'd fallen at the ridge. No, the ridge fell on me. Look, there isn't a lot of time left. I have to face Hades. Not alone. My fight. I can't ask you to come with me. 
We were about to go over the top anyway, right? Right. The metal devil must fall. I should stock up. Last chance. Time to do what you came for, Aloy. System threat imminent. I'm more than a threat.
Okay, Gaia. Uh, sorry about that. Where was I? You were telling a story. Right. Yeah, so, um, like I was saying, it was a children's electronics kit, but I hacked the wiring to an auto battery and solar PV. So the grass caught fire. And uh, so did a, a tall pine that had stood there, I, I don't know, maybe a hundred years. Query, you were how old? Six. My mother was home, thank God, so she called the fire department, and after, she took me out to the lawn and showed me the dead baby birds, because there were nests in the pine tree. Query, what did you feel? I'm not sure. I remember yelling that I didn't care, and that's when my mother took my face in her hands and spoke. Query. What did she say? She said I had to care. She said, Elizabeth, being smart will count for nothing if you don't make the world better. You have to use your smarts to count for something. To serve life, not death. You often tell stories of your mother, but you are childless. I never had time. I guess it was for the best. If you had had a child, Elizabeth, what would you have wished for him or her? I guess I would have wanted her to be curious and willful, unstoppable even, but with enough compassion to heal the world. Just a little bit. Anyway, that's all I've got for now, Gaia. Time to tuck in. I wish you a pleasant sleep, Elizabeth. Thank you. I'll catch you tomorrow. friend remember me we've still so much to discuss so much you never revealed your masters for example the ones who sent the signal that woke you knowledge has its rewards don't you think 
Well, let's begin. Thank you. 